My name is Laura Eccles Richter, and I'm one of the pastors at Grace Avenue. Today, our scripture comes from Matthew chapter 6, verses 21 through 22. It's a little harsh when you read it. It seems a little overwhelming, but it starts with a legal expert coming to Jesus and saying, I will follow you wherever you go. I wonder, how many followers do you have on your social media accounts, whether it's on Facebook or your Instagram or Snapchat? Do you have followers and what do you follow? Do the things that you follow, do they inspire you? Do they challenge you? I don't know if you remember, but in 2014, it began with the ice bucket challenge, a challenge where people would literally have buckets of ice water dumped on their heads. Well, Billy and I joined in that challenge at the 15th birthday of the church. There's great pictures of it. And I remember that some of the staff took too much delight in, in dumping those buckets of ice water on our heads. And yet it wasn't just about the challenge or it wasn't just about a photo op. It was really about the follow through because we were raising awareness for ALS. And over the course of that year, that challenge raised over a hundred million dollars for ALS research and care. It really is about the follow through. And I think that sometimes as we read the scripture today, well, it feels like Jesus is just dumping buckets of ice water on our heads. Here's a legal expert saying, I'll follow you wherever you go. And Jesus begins by saying, well, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And someone else says, Jesus, I want to follow you, but, but first I have to go bury my father. And Jesus' response, well, it's again like a bucket of ice water being dumped on your head. It sounds harsh. Jesus says, let the dead bury their own dead. Are you really going to follow me? In all of that, it's hard for us to really, well, see this Jesus is the Jesus that welcomed children, the one who cared for the sick, the one who is so compassionate. And yet I think what Jesus is really asking us to do is to be challenged in our lives. Billy Graham talked about the fact that following Jesus is a, not just a one-time conversion, but it's a choice we make every day. John Wesley said the same thing. Every day we have to decide who we will follow. Will we follow Christ today? And so I think in that way, Jesus is looking at us and seeing the best parts of ourselves and offering us a challenge. Much like, well, if you've had a coach or a teacher or someone who saw something deep within you and, and encouraged you to live into your very best self. Jesus, in this way, is saying that we have to get our priorities straight. We are God's beloved children and we're called first and foremost to follow Jesus. And then, then we'll know what to do from there. Our priorities will fall in line from there. But first, without any excuses, without any reasons that cause delay, Jesus says we are called to fully commit and follow. It isn't like on a social media feed where you just follow and check in some of the time. No, Jesus asks us to be all in fully committed. This coming Sunday, we are going to be celebrating a reaffirmation of our baptisms, remembering that time in which water was placed on our heads. Not an ice bucket of water, but the waters of Christ, once again claiming us first and foremost as God's beloved children. And from there, from there, we know how to prioritize the care of our families, the care of our neighbors, and what to prioritize in our whole lives. But first, 
First, we have the challenge. Will we commit to follow Jesus?